two, one. If it wasn't for Isaac Newton, space travel might not be possible, but with the launch of the space shuttle today, Bark from his famous apple tree will be taken into space. Blazing a trail to scientific discovery. Newton, who is one of the great scientists of all times, uh, to send a bit of his apple tree up there was just an opportunity we couldn't pass it up. It's been organised to celebrate 350 years of the Royal Society, which Newton was once president of. Born and raised in Grantham, the tree which inspired Newton still stands at Walsall Manor. So Kim, we're actually stood in what was Isaac Newton's garden and... Absolutely. That's the tree, right? This is the tree. This is in the position it was and um, this is the tree where Isaac Newton sat and the apple fell down. And he thought to himself, you know, why does everything we drop fall down to the ground? Why doesn't it hover or go sideways? And he started his um, investigations into the force of gravity. The bark, along with a picture of Newton, is being taken into space by the British astronaut Pierce Sellers. So what's going to happen to that piece of bark when it's sent into space? Well, I'm not on Mars. I'm actually at the National Space Centre in Leicester to find out more. He really is chuffed to bits that he's able to take something into space that just means so much to so many. Chaz is a good friend of Piers and will be watching the launch in Florida. If I know Piers well, he'll be messing around with it. He'll realise, of course, things don't fall in space, as Newton saw, they hang around in space. It'll just float, so I suspect he'll start putting it in front of him. I wouldn't surprise me at all if he gave a little nudge and made it twizzy round. But what would Newton have made of all of this? I think it would be something he would have loved to have done for himself, to actually go off into space and actually experience these things. So I think if he's looking down, I think that was fantastic. Sarah Crudus, BBC Look North.